Hello. In this video, I will show you a node group that I made in the compositor to turn your renders into kaleidoscopes. This is a scene I threw together with a bunch of images automatically generated by Epiphysis, which is a really neat program. I have no idea how to use it, but I just take these that it generates when you open it, export them all, loaded them up in here, put a bunch of displacement maps on them and animated a bunch of stuff. So I'm going to hit render. Here is the node group. I also made a pinwheel version which doesn't mirror every other segment. These support up to 32 segments. And I made a version Bear with me here as I'm holding my eight-month-old son, and he is kicking the desk. Anyway, this one supports up to 256, but it is very slow, so be careful with it, unless you have a really beefy computer. I'll show you a quick view of what this looks like. Not very quick, but you get the idea. Give it a minute. That's beautiful. I'm going to go back to this one. The source angle value tells it which section of the original render that it's going to duplicate. If you animate this, it looks really neat. Here's what the node group looks like on the inside. There's a lot going on in here that I can't really explain. But there is a link in the description. So you can download this for yourself for free and check it out, play with it. And lastly, I will show you the test render that I made with it this morning. This song is from my upcoming album, by the way. Should be out in a few months. Some of the animation here is, it's all done with F-curve modifiers. Got displacement maps and things are rotating. And also, I have this value animated from 0 to 360 over the course of the whole animation. If you want to make a music video with this, you can sync up the uh, elements in your scene with instruments and match up with the BPM and make it look really neat. Tons of stuff you can do with this, with this uh, 
Node Group. All right, that's about it. Thank you for watching.